up everybody and welcome to another episode hit the like button subscribe to my channel and share the video hit the join button and become a member why with well, members get exclusive content hit the bell icon on my channel so that you receive a notification every time that i drop a video and you can go and check the video out leave a comment and leave a like if you support me support the go up movement support the stay free poop the stay free movement support the content let's get into it this transpired and Corcoran State Prison, I told you I was going to bring you the story in 1995 on CR in 3 building. I'm not going to name the name because he is an op, an opposition. And if I name his name, for one, some people will accuse me of naming him just because he's an opposition. And, and there are a myriad of other problems that can come along with naming him in this situation. Many of you know who this person is as he is someone from his section. However, right here in Corcoran, everyone who was there in 1995 on Sea Yard know that this transpired, particularly if you were in three building. Not everyone on the yard knew what was going on here in three building, but many did. And when I got to Corcoran, as I said, I ended up in one building at first. Over there was Slep Rock from Neighborhood and Pookie from 40s. And I explained the situation that we all had got into. Uh, at some point, I ended up in three building. And when I got to three building, a couple of days after getting there in three building, I noticed a paisa coming out of the cell of a black dude. The opposition. Let's call this black dude Cupcake. And he was coming out of the cell of old Cupcake. I didn't think anything of it. I was in a cell with an older dude, an OG, who did not gang bang. He was a non-affiliate. But a couple of days later, I saw the same thing going on. I never went to dinner. I never walked out of my cell to go to chow. And most of the times when this was transpiring, where the Paisa would go to the black dude's cell was during dinner time when the whole building had released out to go to chow, and they were left behind. The cupcake had juice there in the building. He was the porter. Again, porter being someone who comes out and cleans, sweeps and mops and dumps the trash and all of that for the entire building. He was cool with the police. Her name was Miss Mallory. Her husband worked in the hole, Mr. Mallory. And he used to give Miss Mallory food, she used to pop him, out, pop him out of his cell all day, every day. He had juice with her and other police as well. Everyone in the building knew what was going on. This was an interracial, forbidden, illicit love affair. Not a Big Bubba situation because this was consensual. Big Bubba, well, he comes lurking at nighttime, oftentimes at night, and takes what he wants. But in this case... It was mutual. Both parties had agreed, and these two clearly were in love with one another. I couldn't believe it. The second time that I saw him coming out of the cell, now I asked my celly what the hell was going on here. My celly said, well, what are you talking about? And I explained what I had saw with the paisa coming out of Cupcake's cell time and time again, this time for a second time. I didn't mention it the first time, but now I'm suspicious. My antennas are raised, and I want to know what the hell's going on in this building that I just came to. I haven't been in prison long. This was in 1995, and my first time in prison was 1994. I just came from Avenal, a level two. Now I'm in Corcoran, a level three. I have never been to a level four at this juncture. However, growing up, I've heard many war stories, many prison stories, as my uncle and big homies were frequenting the system. I haven't heard the stories, even though I have to this point not experienced it myself, I know right from wrong. I know growing up that I heard to stay away from homosexuality there in prison, that a man should not be with another man as it relates to the prison yard, period. And so I know that what's transpiring here it's not right. So when I asked my celly, well, what the hell is going on? My celly basically just hissed 
shook his head. Said, oh, man, you don't want to know. Actually, I do want to know what's going on. He said, well, basically, those two are in a relationship. They hold hands. They fight. They eat together. They spend a night with each other. They, they do all sorts of relationship type stuff. I said, I can't believe this. Is what you telling me true? Is his homies allowing this to happen? Apparently so. I thought that this was forbidden in prison. Again, I haven't been anywhere. I've only been in prison for six, seven, eight months, but I just know that this is not right. According to what I've been taught growing up, how is this not disallowed here on the yard? Albeit a level three, but still, they possess some sort of politics here on the yard. And he said, I don't know. His homies know what's going on, and the other Pisces know what's going on. His homies allow it, so we just stay, we just basically, the rest of the blacks, we just stay out of the way, man. You know, because, you know, basically due to somebody from his section, I guess he's been locked up for a while, and they're just letting this shit go. Okay, fine. The Pisa used to hang out at Cupcake Cell all day. When Cupcake would go in, he was working in the morning as a porter. When he would go in at 2, 3 o'clock when his shift was over and stay in his cell, the Pisa would be at his door all day laughing and joking, standing in front of his door. Vice versa. When Cupcake was out working, he would be at the Pisa cell. He would get the Pisa cell door hit. He would come out. They would chill together, laugh. And then one day, I remember, I was sitting there in the day room playing cards. And Cupcake brings the Pisa over there to our side of the day room. They're underneath the stairs. Basically hugged up. Basically kissing, man. Hugged up, smooching. Right there on a prison yard. Right there in Corcoran. Right there on Sea Yard. Right there in three building, right there in the day room. It happened, people. I witnessed it with my own two eyes. And now I'm becoming a bit perturbed because I'm saying he's putting us in jeopardy. They are not supposed to be on our side of the day room, particularly hanging out, just chilling. That's a no-no. They have their side of the day room and we have ours. Now your interracial love affair is putting everyone in our community in jeopardy, potentially. Now, I have a problem with what's going on. And then another day, right there on the tier, they were sitting there clearly arguing. They, were, they had got loud with one another. And then they started fighting right there on the tier in front of everyone. The Paisa and Cupcake. The Paisa was about... 22 years old, with, 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 with long hair, uh, stood about five foot six, uh, a skinny dude. But he was a boy. He could have even been 19 or 20, but he was no more than 22 years old. Cupcake, he was about 32, 33 years old. And they're sitting there fighting on a tear. And the police is letting this happen. Again, everyone, including the police, know that these two are in a, a, a torrid love affair. An intense love affair. Apparently, also, a tumultuous relationship as they're going back and forth when the squabble is over. Cupcake is walking around with his lokes on the next day. Come to find out, he had a bit of a black eye. The Paisa then two-pieced him and hit him with a black eye. His girlfriend. I couldn't believe any of this stuff. And then one day when I was walking the yard, I saw the Pisces essentially surround the, the Pisa. I'm assuming they were telling him enough is enough. Now, the Pisces are typically under the Southsiders' thumb. And I'm really surprised that the Southsiders are allowing this to go on, that they're not pushing the line on this Paisa. But they was not pushing the line on him, and they were allowing it to go on, bro, because this shit happened. And it had been happening for some time before I even got in the building. I don't know exactly how long, but they had been in a relationship already before I got there. And they are surrounding the Paisa, and I'm assuming telling him, this shit has to end. 
and it has to end now. And then a few days later, that was after the fight. And then a few days later, they sitting over there on our side of the day room at the end of one of the tables eating out of the same bowl. Cupcake and his girlfriend or his boyfriend. They over there eating the spread together. This is how comfortable they've gotten. I mean, obviously that's not the worst of it. They already sitting over there in the day room kissing, smooching, spooning. And now they're sitting over here eating on our side of the day room. Now I'm very pissed. And I told the young homie that was there in the day room with me that this is total disrespect and this can't happen any, any, any longer. And I'm not tripping because of who he is or where he's from. If that's, a, if that's the case, I would have tripped a long time ago. At this point, it's really about him putting us in jeopardy because this dude should not be over here on our side of the day room sitting down at one of our tables eating with a black man. That is forbidden. They're in prison. I don't make the rules. I do follow them, however. And everyone pretty much agreed, the blacks, because next door to Cupcake was a Damu, a blood, who had told me that he was sick and tired of hearing the moans coming from next door. That every day at dinner time, the Paisa would wander into Cupcake's cell. And apparently, he and their gang horn the Paisa. Tearing his ass up because the Damu said that he heard oftentimes moans mixed with screams. Ah! I said, whoa. He said, yeah, man, shit's disgusting. and I'm sick of it, bro. I agree that this dude need to go. So everyone knows what's going on. They're holding hands, walking around, busting laps in the day room. Holding hands, bro. The Paisa is switching with his shower shoes on. Been done everything except paint his damn toes. He's clearly the feminine one in this here relationship. Hell, both of them are feminine, obviously. But the dude from his section, he will fool you. He looks like a rider, and up until that point, I thought he was. But yes, I did, I did take many points away from him at the discovering this situation. Simply because he's not following the rules or the protocols. And there must be hell to pay. Imagine an interracial love affair going down in prison where people are holding hands and kissing out in the open. It was shocking to see. But it also was a reality. And... After they was eating together in the day room, the blacks had come together and decided that that was enough. I didn't make the decision. I was not a shot caller. I had just got to that building. I was 21 years old. People in that building and on that yard had much more rank than myself. I did have a voice, however, and I voiced my opinion. I just essentially supported the decision. I did not make the decision. And the decision was to remove this dude Cupcake from the yard and to remove the Paisa from the yard if necessary as well. If they don't remove him th themselves, the Paisas, then we're going to get his ass out of there. So the blacks approached the, the, the Paisas and let them know that this dude has to get off the yard. We've had enough of this sick shit, and I'm sure y'all have too. It's an embarrassment to both of our factions, both of our races, and this dude needs to go. We're going to take care of our people today. The Pisces were already on the same page. They let the blacks know, no worries. We were already going to dismiss him. Viciously removed this dude from the yard because we had given him warnings already. And now we, we agreed that he went too far by sitting over there on y'all side of the day room and eating. I don't know how that upset them so much as opposed to everything else that was going on. Hugging, holding hands, in and out of each other's cells. Or, or I, I never saw Cupcake go inside of the Pisces cell, actually. But the Pisces was in and out of his cell. But he was never able to go down to the Pisces cell. 
But none of that seemed to outrage them as much as him sitting down at the table eating with the black out of the same bowl. Now they're pissed off and had already made the decision to eradicate the paisa from the yard, extinguish him. So a plan was put into motion by the blacks, at least, as to how to brutally remove this dude from the yard and send a message that this will not be allowed anymore on these yards. And we were hoping that the Pisces would take care of their, piz- of their people, of their business, at the same time, on the same day, because we didn't want to remove him from the yard and then have to sit here and look at this Pisces. We wanted both of these people out of there with this torrid, illicit, aggressive love affair that was going on between a Pisa and supposedly a stand-up black man. The absurdity of it all. And the decision was made to remove them from the yard. And that's exactly what happened. And in part two, I'll bring you the removal of how Cupcake and the Paisa, holding hands, singing We Shall Overcome together, kumbaya on the damn yard and in the day room and in the cell, crammed up on the bed in the Fort Nelson, going to work on one another. Well, they time had come to a damn end. This happened, people, right there in Cork. I know it's hard to believe. It's shocking. A Pisa, because I know they go. I, I know people. Uh, a Pisa, that's a Mexican, and Mexicans don't don't get down like that in prison. I'm just telling you what the hell happened. You take it how you want to take it. He wasn't a Southsider, wasn't a Southerner, but he was a Pisa, a Mexican, a Mexican Pisa. We're long here. Light skin, walking around in his shower shoes, his flip flops, switching, all in the damn day room, just a, just a switching all he can, all on our side of the day room, eating top ramen and tuna with the black dude. Sick, we had enough of that shit. So the decision was made, and the plan was devised and put into place to make a statement, even to the police who favored this dude. We wanted to smash him in front of the police and all of that. We don't give a damn about him having juice with y'all. But we know that he's y'all boy, y'all pet, y'all, y'all cupcake. But he got to go. And a couple of days later, the removal transpired between both the Paisa and the black dude. And it was ugly. It was vicious, particularly for a level three yard. It was the most vicious removal I had seen up until that point. The most vicious removal I've ever seen on a level three yard to this day. Because people had had enough of that lurid, torrid, illicit love affair between these two lover boys. And they had to go. And it was indeed a bloody situation. I'll bring you that bloody situation in part two of the interracial love affair between the Pisa and the Black that transpired right there in Corcoran in 1995. In the meantime, stay free, people!